Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, off the field antics and uh, something I thought I'd have to get out because uh, it needs to be a response. And uh, it was an incident last week uh, which happened on Sens Radio, uh, which I'm sure is pretty well documented and most of you will know about um, because it's a show done by Scotty Stevenson and Israel Dag. And uh, about a week ago, I think it was last week, Wednesday, um, uh, or well, last week, Tuesday, um, in... Uh, they responded to a Rusty Erasmus press conference last week and uh, said some pretty shocking things. Um, and this was sort of met with quite an uproar, for example. There was a demand for an apology. There was an apology promise. There was an apology that came, an apology. Um, we'll talk about that apology. As well as a response um, after the comments about Rusty Erasmus um, has promised a response from Rusty Erasmus himself. So we're going to kind of sort of go through it all and make sure to get everything very correct with regards to what was said, what wasn't said. And uh, then just my general feelings about the entire situation. So before we do that, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so about a week ago, um, they an episode came out from Sens Radio. And uh, they took a pop at Rusty Rasmus back on uh, the their show with regards to uh, his demeanor. Um, and appearance in the press conference. And I'm going to say that appearance very, very deliberately. Now, first of all, we got to go really get into exactly what was said and what wasn't said. Um, so basically, what was happening on the show, Scotty Stevenson, whose nickname, by the way, is Sumo, um, because of his weight issues when he was a child. And, you know, he's actually gone through quite a well-documented weight loss trend um, and is no longer as large as he once was. But that is where his nickname came from, important for later. Um, and Israel Dad spoke about Rusty Rasmus during the press conference last week. Now, what's very, very important to note is that Rusty Rasmus um, has had lots of health issues over the last few years, lots of them. Um, you know, and uh, he's had to talk about the fact uh, he's got... Um, he had a chronic Ill, um, um, illness, for example, um, which had issues with his sort of windpipe, for example. He put on a lot of weight, um, and he really struggled with his health a lot of the times. And uh, he's still not, I mean, nothing confirmed, for example, what the situation currently, but he's had a lot of health issues, um, which has been pretty well documented. He's been quite upfront with it. You know, he's talked about the fact that he had to... Um, he had to sell the players, for example, because he was, you know, you could see physically he just wasn't looking healthy. Um, and he sort of, sort of fluctuated. You know, we've seen over the past few years where some, at times he's not looked great at press conferences, for example. Um, other times he's looked a lot better. So he, he is somebody that goes to health issues. And you can see he kind of ebbs and flows. They're good days, bad days, good weeks, bad weeks. Um, you know, evidently whatever's happening behind the scenes is not bad enough for him to stop coaching, for example. You can see he's still loving it. Um, and last week, you know, especially in that press conference, Whilst maybe not looking as as healthy as as maybe he has previously, he was in a good mood. He was a great mood, in fact. He was laughing, he was joking, and you can see with a man who, in a, in a, from a mental point of view, was in a good space. You know, you can see he was very comfortable in the environment himself. He was very comfortable in the environment. And he was really enjoying it. Um, and frustrating then to then get the criticism that he got or the comments that he received um, from the two in uh, in the. Um, in that radio show. Now, first of all, the big thing, the reason they're having a pop at him was the Ibn Etzebeth uh, being named, uh, or not be named, and then essentially be named on the bench. Um, and, um, you know, for two, I suppose, broadcasters, if they'd actually bothered to listen, for example, you know, because they were basically saying um, that Ibn Etzebeth was never injured and that's just mind games, despite the fact that Rassi Ras was in his first press conference after naming the team, spoke about the fact that Ibn Etzebeth could yet still feature, mentioned him multiple times. Um, they also, by the way, then said that um, it was a straight up lie that was going to be on the bench and he'd definitely be starting, which he didn't do. So in terms of lies, one versus the other. Um, and then this was the issue that they then said. They spoke about his demeanor and they said as follows. It says the games this guy's played, this is Scotty Stevenson, by the way, um, like there's a part of me that says well played, sir. But there's another part of you that just gets sick. And the one thing I noticed the press conference this week and the video covers it, uh, coverage is it just me or is Rusty looking every day more like Baron Baron Harkonnen, leader of House Harkonnen in from Dune? Like seriously, what's going on? How much clippies and coke has he been on? Um, and now, supposedly, um, you know, he was referencing the demeanor. Um, and he also, he also made a comparison to Jabba the Hutt saying he said he looks like Jabba the Hutt. Uh, the way he stands, he sits up the top there in his own sort of palace and sort of looks out as a sort of subject. That was kind of the, the reference. Now, if you go and break down every word for word for word, 
doesn't say directly that he looks like Jabba Hutt, for example, or even necessarily that he literally looks like, um, you know, Baron, Baron Vladimir Hockenden and, and the likes, you know, who is not a small person in at, at, at the slightest. Now, the fact that you're suddenly, you know, referencing two very well-known, very large individuals is pretty straightforward that, that you are referencing the, the weight. Um, even the sort of the Brandy and Coke reference would be, you know, I think more it's anyway, actually the way his behavior rather um, than his way. But then very literally says he looks older, doesn't he? Um, and that's very important because a week later, um, after being asked by an apology, and I think uh, it was it was Jared Wright, playing rugby, who actually wrote to Sands Radio saying we, you know, this is not on, should be a uh, apology, gave the context, for example, the health issues. And yesterday they, they issued an apology, or this morning rather, in the early hours uh, over in New Zealand. And uh, as you would think, Scotty Stevenson who thinks he's phenomenally funny, um, did a whole sort of apology where he apologised to Star Wars and Dune fans for the unfair comparison between Rusty Erasmus, Jabba the Hutt, and Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. And uh, said that, and then basically implied that how dare anybody go after Rusty Erasmus, Lord Rusty Erasmus, for example, you know, you can't touch him um, and the likes. Here's the issue, guys. And this is, and again, you know, Israel Dak, somebody who has, by the way, opened up about the mental health challenges he had to overcome after playing. You know, you've got a Scotty Stevenson, for example, who was, you know, critiqued for his weight for years and years and years. You know, has the nickname Sumo for that reason and had lost all the weight. And you are now sitting there having a pop at someone's appearance and demeanor who has got documented health issues. Whether or not you want to have a pop about the mind games, for example, and this naming the team early, and if you want to lie about the fact that he was that that uh, Rusty didn't say him was going to play, you know, go for it. But there's a line that 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 shouldn't be crossed, and they crossed it. And then the apology is not an apology at the end of the day. And they're sitting there thinking that they are tremendously funny, um, and you know, you can just see the snickering in the studio. You know, like the classic seventeen-year-old type of school kid that just never really grew up. And, and that's what we're seeing. And it's frustrating, especially, I'd say, from Israel Dag, next player who's gone through, you know, his own battles. You know, somebody's got, and, and, and to go after someone who's, you know, this is not, this is not somebody who is health-wise okay. You know, Rusty Rusty has struggled. Um, and he's put on a brave face. And, um, you know, that whole concept of how dare we go after him because, you know, it was going to protect him. Of course, you have to fucking protect him. You know, this is somebody who's delivered more for the country than either of those two could ever dream of doing. For, for New Zealand. Um, you know, he has delivered two World Cups, a British and Irish Lions series. He's delivered rugby championships. He's, you know, created moments that have united this country. He might be one of the most liked South Africans of all time, you know, and he's done it with humility. He's done it the right way. He's been a champion for, for transformation. I mean, he has done so much for sport. I, you know, I struggle to think of people who have done more for South African sports than Rusty Erasmus. So first of all, yes, we're going to protect him. You know, how dare you make comments like that without understanding the context, then get get given the context and still double down on your takes, you know, low as low, low as low. And Sens Radio itself, you know, should hang its, its, its head in shame with regards to how they've treated this this whole matter. Uh, and then Rusty Rasmus himself has responded, saying as follows, there is the tweet, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can read it, saying, uh, hi, Izzy and Scotty and tags at Sens Breakfast. Hope you guys are doing well. Nice to see Izzy you involved a podcast, man. Really happy that the tough times are behind you. Making the reference to all the mental health issues that Israel Dag struggled with and he opened up about. Um, you know, somebody who you might think would be very aware about uh, what uh, you know, comments can do and, and how important mental health is. Apparently not. And uh, then said, um, Scotty, I'm not sure if, if it is the sumo I know. If it is you, look great and healthy, man. Lacquer, Rusty. Now... Obviously, there is a reference to, to Sumer's weight there. Inter- well, a lot of people say there is a reference saying, if it is the Sumer, I know. But obviously, he was a large person. And then, if it is, you look great and healthy. Now, I mean, it's a classy response. Yes, I think there's a slight bit of a dig to, to him. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you've got two people who've gone after him. And Rusty Rasmus has come out and said, is he great to see that you, your mental health is good and Scott looking healthy? And, you know, well done. You know, very clearly trying to be the big person whilst addressing the issues. Now... Rusty Rasmus, there's a lot of Rusty Rasmus that I don't agree with. But, I mean, for example, this, for example, just sort of shows you the type of person he is. Um, you know, and there's two things you can be into this. One, 
it does bother him. The comments bothered him. He wouldn't have done this post if it didn't bother him, which means congratulations, you know, Scotty and Israel Dag. You made, you know, pops to the guy's appearance, which is health related and it's affecting him. So congratulations, you know, gold medal to you. You really got inside the head of a man who's got health issues and struggling. You know, congratulations to you. You know, massive, massive big ups to you, you pricks. Um, second of all, for example, though, that he is not going to stoop to the level to, you know, he's, he's learned from the past where sometimes he's maybe said things which are towing the line and he's going to say, right, well, you know, I'm going to address the issue and just say, guys, don't worry, basically. So, you know, to the fans, don't worry. We're going to focus on, on, on one thing and that's beating all backs for the fourth time in a row. That's what we're going to focus on. And it's so sad that in a week where, you know, and if you go back and look at some of the, the, the videos we did last week, the interaction we've seen between the All Black fans and the South African fans have been fantastic. The interaction between the, the coaches, you know, Scott Robertson talking about, you know, how Rassi Rasmus is such a good example of, you know, the best coach in the world. Rassi Rasmus talking about how good Razor is, the respect that you see at least in a whole rant about the relationship he's got with Ardi Sevilla. This is such a respected rivalry. And then you've got tricks like Israel Dag and Scotty Stevenson, who I will call them that because, you know, that's where I, I am with them currently, um, you know, who then go and sort of create that kind of rhetoric, which is really sad, especially because last week, you know, got to know a lot of the the, 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 the New Zealand media, had long conversations, for example, with Jamie Wall, who's down here, and um, really, really enjoyed the interaction. And then you get issues like this. So I think the big thing is obviously from a same perspective is that we're going to, people are doing this debate you, you know, Ben Smith, for example, his tweets are debate you. And I mean, he's in the mode at the moment, like horrendously. And he can continue to sit there saying that he's undefeated against the SA Twitter because, you know, that's his big thing. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got to address these issues, call people out um, and then stick together and, and, and move on. Um, so, Thoughts to just break it down because a lot of people were asking me about the whole thing. I had people messaging me saying, what's going on? Why is this Rasmussen retweeting, for example? And, and obviously, people haven't seen the whole sort of progression of events. So we've done the progression of events. Hopefully, this is now a bit of a, a uh, sort of a line in the sand moment for Rasmussen. And Rasmus. we're going to move into a new test week because there's so much more to talk about. You know, we're not talking about the Freedom Cup being on, 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 on the line on Saturday. You know, potentially, that, the Rugby Championship could be wrapped up this weekend so much talk about this week we're going to be covering all of that obviously as well so smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon